Yeah, Dave, so it has been drier as yeah. far as rain coming down from the sky. We haven't had that, but we have this problem of high level of water, right. in, mainly the Withlacoochee, and it's really been a problem. Uh, we're waiting for the water to recede, but it's really taking a long time. Yeah. So we're going to look at a couple select locations here where it has been pretty bad. Starting off at Holder, you can see that this is a trend that we don't want to go towards, where the water levels are actually rising over the next few days. We're going to go into that major flood stage so anybody that lives near the Withlacoochee at Holder I would be aware of this as we enter into Sunday Monday that's when we start to see that steady rise of the water it's not going to be a dramatic change but it's going the opposite of uh, where we want it to go now here's some minor improvements with Withlacoochee at Trilby we are getting towards that moderate flood stage so we do have a decrease in that water level but it's going to take some time we're looking at that around the 29th and 30th that's th this Tuesday and Wednesday. So the water is slowly receding at that location. And the best case scenario, if we can have a best case scenario, would be Croom with Lacucci at Croom. That's where we're seeing the water levels uh, recede a little bit faster than the other two locations. By Sunday, we're entering into that moderate flood stage, which is about 10 feet. But we really, we would like to see all these locations just start to drop and um, dry up because a lot of folks are still dealing with those conditions. All right, getting back here at home, looking at the wider picture to begin with, here's that area high pressure. I like to call that a big bubble of no trouble because it's sinking drier air that's keeping the rain away from the forecast. However, it is, look at the winds coming in from the east, bringing up just a touch of moisture, really just in the form of overnight tonight fog and um, dew points. The dew points have been lower, a couple higher clouds, but again, it's not a dramatic change. Overall, the high pressure has been keeping us nice and dry. We do have a front that will drop in next week and that will increase our wind speeds a little bit closer to home here. Again, a couple high clouds on the east coast. There's that moisture being pulled in from the Atlantic Ocean, but otherwise not a bad night. Here's a look outside. This is from the scent in St. Pete's or excuse me, the scent in Tampa, but it's looking towards downtown Tampa. I'm getting my cameras mixed up. 74 is the current temperature. We have uh, temperatures that are even cooler than that in Brooksville, Crystal River, Zephyr Hills, sitting in the upper 60s at this time. We do have some mid 70s along the coast and some cooler marks in Lakeland and Bartow, where we're currently sitting in the lower 70s, which is pretty typical for those inland locations to be cooler than the coast. Overnight temperatures will generally drop to the lower 60s, especially for our northern locations closer to Pasco and Citrus County, as well as our inland locations. And then uh, our coastal areas will be closer to the mid 60s, maybe even the upper 60s in some locations. As we look at the winds the next few hours, you see winds have a gentle breeze right now, but they really become calmer as we enter into the overnight and especially tomorrow morning. And that's where the problem of fog comes into play. We did have fog early this morning. If you were up, I'm sure you saw it. If not, we're going to have some more fog tomorrow. So this would affect anybody that's out and about from the hours of about 3.30 to I'm going to say 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Look how the fog really reduces the visibility here around 5 a.m. We have visibility reduced down to a half mile, meaning that you only can see about a half mile out in some locations. Some areas could even have fog denser than that. Um, but overall, I just would be careful if you're driving before sunrise tomorrow morning. Otherwise, it shouldn't affect you too much. All right, tomorrow afternoon, nice bright sunshine, a few high clouds like we had for today. 85 for that daytime temperature, and again, winds are pretty light. As we look at our tropical satellite, this is something we like to see. Let's read this together, right? No new tropical cyclones expected over the next seven days. We're telling you that we are good through Halloween. Why? The one big reason being that we have a secondary front that's entering into our region. That's going to pick up the wind speeds come next week. Early next week, we're going to be breezy, and that's going to steer any tropical systems away. Tropical systems need lighter winds to keep their structure, right? Now, don't forget, Sunday we have the big bucks game. It will be a warm afternoon. And then Thursday for Halloween, also looking pretty warm for those trick-or-treaters.